Standing by with head coach Gerald Grimm of the Southern Local Indians. Congratulations on your first win of the campaign this year. How do you guys feel? Um, pretty good. Um, obviously, you've got to work on some things defensively, but anytime you put up, I think, 78 points, um, you're doing some things right. Um, and tonight, uh, I felt like it was a total team effort. Uh, a lot of guys scored a lot of points for us. Indeed. Starting off really hot, coming going into the second quarter. Sebring was mounting a little bit of a comeback. What, what do you got to say about Sebring's defense and offensively and how they did uh, uh, come back in the game a little bit? Uh, coach Lee is a good coach. Uh, they made an adjustment um, offensively to what we were trying to do defensively. Um, we kind of uh, stalled offensively there for a little bit, and they were able to chip away. I think we pushed it up to 18 points at one point in the early second quarter, and they I cut it all the way down to like four, I believe. Um, but uh, we just kind of needed to weather the storm and, and knew that if we get it if we get it into halftime, we could go ahead and make the adjustments we needed. Indeed. What can you say about your players coming out of halftime after making those adjustments and how they responded only being up by four points? Uh, we talk about all the time, uh, turn ourselves into a good team. Uh, I think we have the talent to do it. We're just not there yet. And one of the things good teams do is they they, they, uh, they come out and set the, set the tone for the second half uh, with the first three or four minutes of the, of the second half. So we really talked about making sure that we came out and didn't let them uh, chip away. We came out, I think we scored in one of our first uh, couple possessions there, held them uh, down for a couple possessions, and then we were able to kind of push the lead back out to 10, and then obviously it went on from there. Indeed. You got Edison next Tuesday. You had a tough loss against them on the first uh, game of the season. How do you guys feel about matching up against Edison since you guys already saw them? Um, in the first half, uh, Edison, uh, a quality team, they've got um, good athletes. Um, in the first half, they, it was our first game. They caught us a little flat-footed uh, defensively. That's something we weren't particularly prepared for, something we hadn't seen from them uh, on uh, films that we had seen before that. And so that kind of slowed us down in the first half. In the second half, we scored 34 points, something like that. Anytime you're uh, on pace to score 60-plus in a game, it's a game you feel like you should be able to win. So we just got to be able to, to be ready to go from right from the beginning of the game this time and hopefully uh, give them a, a better game. Indeed. You guys, like you always say, you like to take them one game at a time. After Edison, you got EOAC play. What can you guys say about your EOAC pay, play opponents? Um, you know, we... Uh, I think every night in the UAC is always tough. Um, honestly, it, there's a there's a lot of I feel like a lot of parity this year, and it's interesting to see where where teams are going to be. Last year we uh, we struggled, so we weren't able to be competitive in most of our games. So now that I feel like we we, we have um, the guard play and the post play that we that we can compete on most nights, it'll be interesting to see how we stack up against the uh, league opponents. Indeed, congratulations on your guys' first win. Go celebrate, man! Hey, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you.